Friday for meeting. The first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the September 20th, 2016 regular meeting. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item one. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions or comments on the minutes? Nice to see your fellow board members. on file drainage repairs. We do have one drainage district number 318, plain section 36. It's a blocked tile on the roadway turned in by Rasmussen and Woodline. The chairman, I move to drainage repair. Uh, I'll second the motion of just a motion. I stand with the floor and second We have a motion and a second. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 2 carries. Item number three is to approve the salary step increase for Joni Hefley, Conservation Department Office Manager, from $32,411 to $33,383, effective October 2nd, 2016, for salary schedule. We want number three. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Item three carries. Item number four, approved salary increase for Renee Ryan, correctional officer from 1835 to 1875 per hour, effective September 19th, 2016, and Melissa Nelson, correctional officer from 1770 to 1835 per hour, effective September 27th per labor agreement. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion. I'll second. Motion no. and a second. Questions or comments? We should like to get those in on time. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item four carries. Item number five is to receive and place on file resignation of Bob Stark, Board of Adjustment Number. Questions or comments? Yes, sir. I received a, an email from uh, Robert Starks, one of his daughters, and I'd like to read it for the, for the record. Dear Lonnie Nichols, first let me start by introducing myself. I am Linda Stark Murphy, the daughter of Bob Stark. For years, we have all heard from our dad how much that he loved being a part of the Webster County Board of Adjustment. He was honored to be on this board. It is with great sadness that uh, I inform you that we feel the time has come for him to be removed as a member of the board. The last few months have taken a toll on him with a bad fall and hip replacement surgery and then our mother passing away. I hope that you're able to fill this position with someone who has the same passion for this board. If there's anything else you need from our family, please do not hesitate to contact me sincerely. And I'd like to say, even though I only met Bob a, a couple times, um, the years of service he put in are greatly appreciated. And uh, we hope he does well on, on his recovery. And that we will miss him on the board. And uh, look forward to moving forward with the report. Thank you. Thank you.
I just like to say, you know, thank Bob too. He, he's been on numerous county boards, served a lot of hours, a lot of years on a lot of these boards, so he'll be really missed. And we just all around the great guy too. So I think they've said it all. All in favor of accepting the resignation of Robert Stark, say aye. 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 Opposed? Item five carries. Item number six. To approve the appointment of Prince Kirsten to the Western County Board of Adjustment to fill a vacancy for the remainder of the term, December 31st, 2018. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move to table this section. I have a motion to table. Do I have a second? second motion? I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Go ahead. Um, I, I just want to jump on what Clark was saying there. The reason we're tabling this is. Uh, try and solicit anybody else that would like to serve on this board. Uh, we actually will have another position on this board uh, up, I believe, in December, the end of December. So we really need two people to step forward. Um, I guess it's my opinion that this is a rural board, deals only with rural issues, and so I would like to see uh, somebody with farming background, farm business background, or uh, something like that. We also uh, would really like to see a woman step forward to take one of these spots. So if anybody out there in the, in the rural areas or part of the community uh, wants to contact us, contact what, the auditor's office or, or, or one of us, any of us, uh, with a desire to serve on this particular board, uh, please step forward and we'll probably take action in a couple weeks. So if you know somebody, or you're thinking of somebody, you know, ask them. <coughs> or have, have them give us a call, go to explain to them, you know, what needs to be done. My, my concern is that there are, have to be an awful lot of people out there that would be talented and able to serve. Uh, <coughs> if, and, and quite often you have to approach them, and we just we wouldn't know where to go. And so I hope they'll not be hesitant about stepping forward and saying, hey, I'd like to throw my I would say, since Mr. Kirsten's name was on this motion, or on the, this agenda item, this is no reflection on whether Mr. Kirsten is qualified or would be good on this board, um, could possibly still be appointed to this board. Um, we just felt that we needed to step back and, and make sure that the public knew that, that we are desiring a couple names at least uh, to fill this position. All right, thank you. Item number seven, to approve business property tax credit application for real estate property tax year 2016. I'll move by I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Carol, do you want to explain? Uh, basically, these are new applications. Uh, there are no denials uh, with this. And of course, the existing uh, qualified property tax credits are also. sign a utility permit from Mid American Energy to install a 40 foot pole and attach three overhead transformers to provide electrical feed at 2920 Paragon Avenue and Section 10, Township 87 North, Range 28 West, Burnside Township. Mr. Chairman, I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion and a second. Questions for comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 8 carries. It is now the citizens' opportunity to address the board of items not on the agenda.
And then on October 22nd, we will have another one on Saturday morning at Daniel Pharmacy from 10 till noon here in town. So that will be three of them again this year. Last, last spring we had three before we only had two at a time. <coughs> kind of up to three just by demand. So there'll be three of them out in the county this year. Again. Also, for your information, with work from emergency management or Scott Forbes and our department, we were granted a grant by the Department of Justice for roughly $9,000 for body cameras. So we applied for that grant quite some time ago. And we've already ordered eight paid our six and paid for that, which is about eighty two hundred dollars. So um, this will finish that off that we can possibly order uh, seven out of this at no cost to the county. That's all I have. All right. Thank you, Sheriff. Any other questions or comments from the public? Board of Supervisor Committee reports. I made it to the CDB, CDB meeting last Thursday, and I guess the main thing on that was the Peace of the Woods is going to be at, at Sunkist Meadows this year instead of the ball. And unless it's really muddy, then it's not much out there. But it's a really big activity for the area. A lot of people come from all over for that, a lot of cars. So if you haven't ever been to that, it's really good, good way to spend the afternoon a lot of old cars. And it's good things to look at other than that. Uh, I said I was out of the country, and if anybody complains about the driving conditions or the roads in Fort Dodge or Webster County, they ought to go someplace else. But we really, really, really have a good road system and, and bridges and everything because you get out of the country and it's just not there. So thank you, Randy, for taking care of our roads. <laughs> 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 Um, I'd like to make a comment with the uh, common issues of whatever that we've been dealing with. Um, I think one of the things that's lacking a little bit in the process is notification to property owners. Uh, we're only required to put a little tiny little ad in and nobody sees it. Uh, we're, we have six new applications in the sub, basically south western part of the county. Um, I think we need to work on making sure whether they're negative or positive comments, at least the, the public's aware that we're taking these applications. Um, so I just take the time to, you know, I'm not gonna go into the detail of where they're all at, but we have two applications in Elkhorn Township that we'll be looking at in the next couple weeks. There's two applications in Rowland Township in the next couple weeks, and one down in Gowrie Township. Um, so I just wanna take this opportunity and hopefully the news media will it out there a little bit that if you live in Elkhorn, Roland, or Gowrie and have any comments, positive or negative, uh, you might want to call a supervisor, call and, and see what uh, what we're dealing with. So. Thank you. On the same note, uh, I was asked by one of our legislators that you know we've been mentioning that we might want to re relook at the matrix system, and and he asked me, he said, uh, you know. You guys put some stuff together that you want us to look at. We're glad to do that. So I think we'll be getting together with everybody and seeing what things that we think should be changed on it. Send that down to them. It might not go anywhere, but we'll make an effort to do that. Uh, last week I commented about the scheduling of the uh, reopening of Highway Twenty <coughs> off the East, um, and I thought they would start laying concrete soon thereafter. Well, they started yesterday. Um, and they got up to the top of the hill, and I don't know how much further they got from there. Once again, 11.20, or 11.15, November 15th, this one is to be done and open uh, for the remainder of the year, closed again next spring as they uh, start in and redo this, the uh, north half of uh, Highway 20. Uh, secondly, um, at the moment, are there detour, any detours Two uh, yeah. structures being constructed, good replacements on the Granger surface roads, where we do not have to leave the detour, we just close the road. To answer your question, there's no existing detours other than for Highway 20. 
but yeah, it was, you know. Did you, did you think you were on a detour? No, I was going to get coffee this morning. Somebody said, do you have any detours left? So mm -hmm. like, I don't think so, yeah. but I'll check today. Yeah. So I'm good to go. I'm just going to report on Highway 169 work. It's a DOT project. I, because you brought up construction projects, uh, Matthew Construction still has to do paved shoulders on Highway 169 from essentially uh, D20 at the junction of 169 D20 south to the Parkwork corner and then east, five miles, I guess it is, or whatever it is. And my understanding is hot mix asphalt, paved shoulders, and then I'll put rumble panels in the shoulders. Uh, and that's supposed to be completed uh, you know, before the winter shutdown. And I haven't seen any activity with the plant set up. So I just FYI, that'll be done under a pilot car. You will have inconvenience to stop and wait for the pilot car to guide you through the construction zone. Has that started? Has not started. Assessors meeting, assessors commission meeting at six o'clock, main floor conference room, seven o'clock. Like to invite everybody to the supervisors forum at uh, the Iowa Central Community College. That's at seven. Assessors is at six. Um, Sheriff Tari mentioned the drug take back. Last Friday, I met with the second judicial district meeting. They're looking at a facility in Marshalltown. Thank you.